Sharon with the Nomadic Ramblers. Come on. You want to come on in? Oh, I'd love to come in. Come on. This is our little humble abode. So tell me a little bit about what you've done. Oh, well, <clears throat> we took it down to the skin. The whole, the whole rig, because it was in horrible shape when we got it. And so we had to gut it and start all over. And we did every bit of it ourselves. It cost us, when we were finished with everything uh, back in the day, it cost us $13,000 to do all the build. But then we've added a composting toilet and $6,000 worth of solar. So... Yeah, now we're $20,000. <laughs> so how long have you been doing this lifestyle? Eight years. Wow. Eight wonderful years. What's the best yeah. part of it? Oh, my gosh. Meeting people, traveling, seeing new places. I mean, we, we've never been happier. It's just, it's just awesome. It is. So I saw that your grandson had spent a lot of time with you guys. Where did he stay? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We had a, um, we had like a foam bedding that we put down on the floor for him. And he slept right here. And uh, it was a good thing he was going home because uh, his head was hitting the cabinet and his feet were hitting the wall. <laughs> Growing boys. Yes. Yes, definitely. So, so your stove, is this propane? This is propane, and uh, this was my deal. I got this off of uh, Craigslist for three hundred dollars. Yeah, uh, a girl. <laughs> she bought it for her boyfriend. He was a chef, for him to practice on while he was going to school and whatnot. Well, they got in an argument. He left, and I got the stove. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. All of our appliances in here are apartment size. Wow. And that is a big fridge and freezer. Yes. And, and that's all it, on solar. Yes. Wow. And we put a drawer underneath so that it would be up off the floor. Nice. Yes. That's where all my cast iron is. Oh, and I'll give you a little tip. There's this stuff called alien tape. Mm-hmm. And it's super sticky. Okay, it's double stick, double backed, I mean, and uh, these don't move. I don't have to store these away anymore because I was having to store all my cookie jars under the table and padding them and all this kind of stuff, but none of this stuff moves. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, yes. you don't have to worry about that. Yes, none of that stuff up there moves. Yeah. So the coffee pot doesn't even move. Wow, you guys, well, I guess in eight years you've figured out a lot of things and yeah. you like it. Yeah. So, and back here, you know, we have our little coat, coat hanger here, but uh, we have a washer and we took the dryer out because it sucks energy, too much energy. So we put a cabinet in for more storage and then we have a big pantry. Wow. Yeah. And we, we buy food about once a month or so. And uh, we've been going to the discount <laughs> discount food store mm -hmm. in, in uh, Quartzsite. And that's fantastic. And then, of course, right here is the bathroom. Oh, so there's your compost toilet. Mm -hmm. What brand is that? That is an airhead. Yeah. And we love it. Love it. And you guys have a shower. Yeah, I bet you that's nice. Do you have a hot water heater? Yes, it's under the uh, kitchen sink. Excellent. And our bedroom. This is a big room. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it is. It is. Well, when we gutted it, I was an interior designer before. And so when we gutted it, we had to go with the length of the windows okay. to put our walls in. Because we took everything out. I mean, we took the top of this thing off of the belly. So we could get to the chassis to make sure everything was in good working shape. And so, all the walls are where these windows end for the rest of the rig. 
and we have storage under the bed and this is my desk where I do all my YouTube fun another TV screen yep and we made us a makeshift closet this past time out because we didn't have anywhere to hang any shirts or anything and so we have a closet behind our door <laughs> nice yeah it works we have our bike helmets back there and you know all of my camera gear and whatnot and yeah we love it and we just put these these shades in i love these things love them and i made these little cornice boards to go across the top and mm -hmm. yeah a little rack for hats. Yep. Mr. Childers has to have his hats. And he was in the Navy, so he has all kinds of plaques in here from being in the Navy. That's awesome. Yeah. Is that your pink hat I take it? That is my pink hat and my teal one. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right over there. Yeah. Awesome. I really yeah. like the colors that you have in here. Well, thank you. And you got the puck lights? Yep. yep. Nice. LEDs. Yeah, this room is huge. Advice. Don't wait too long. If you think that you want to live this lifestyle, start getting rid of things then. Start downsizing, start looking ahead, saving your money, whatever it is to get out here. I mean, if you want to work from your rig to come out here on the road, you get the job first. I mean, I, I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm already retired. I retired at 52 and Bobby at 61. So, you know, we did our part. <laughs> but there's a lot of younger people coming out now. And you you got to be able to um, hold your own, so to speak. Um a lot of us are boondocking all the time. We have not, we don't pay for parks unless we go back east. And that's not very often. We go back about once a year and uh, see our grandbabies or bring them out here with us to spend time with us. Uh, hey, it's a blessed life. It's, it's awesome. And we don't have, we don't have a bad day either. <laughs> so we're loving life.